are you saying everyone adr here back with another 122 foot draft challenge now we don't usually start with five backs but looking at the choices it's not a bad place to go we start with a great captain 91 rated alexia pateas and guys if you enjoy these draft videos be sure to leave a like we're trying to get 200 likes on this video so hit that like button if you enjoy the content and this pick's not great i'm gonna go with campania just because I think the Spain links for potential chemistry that later down the line it will be good. And our second striker is not much better. Moise Keane is having a great season though. Uh however, no, you know what? We'll take we'll take Moise Keane. Because if we took Correa, there's the highest of chances he won't end up making our bench when it's all said and done. And I do think Danny Olmo is the best player to take here for chemistry. So we'll take him. And also, guys, FC Pro Live cards are out. However, the thing is with FC Pro Live cards, they're great, but they're only great once they start getting the upgrades. And obviously, they're not upgraded just yet. So until then, it's not really going to affect draft much. It makes the most sense here to take Jimenez. However, 87 rated card is what I'm going to have to take. And the reason why, guys, is that we are going for that 89 rating. And in order to get that 89 rating, we need some of the highest rated cards. Here, I'm going to go with Rayo. We've got so many Spanish players that he's just going to go in and get full chem. Left back, take Marco Correa. We don't mind doing that. Gets the Chelsea link and also all those Spain links. So his chemistry is looking good. And then we get Zambrotta, a much needed icon for the league link. And then in goal, if we get, is it Mirosovic? Uh We don't get her anyway. We get Zinsberger. Maybe later down the line she'll get chem, who knows. We are starting off with 86 rated and 28 chem, which is very respectable. Our next pick is... Mm, oh, he's got centre-back, Arno Martinez. So I'm going to take him. I know he's not the highest rated, but we do that. And I think we're another icon away or a prem manager away from Kukurea being on full chem. So not a bad place to be. Next pick is not really gonna matter we'll take her next up we get so we get grimaldo another spanish player but i don't see him fitting into the team so it might make a bit more sense to take the likes of guti or hamsik and i i guess because hamsik's one rating higher will take him also helps out with moise Keane's chemistry so that makes sense to me we do that for plus one Maybe should have taken Guti, but nah, I don't see why it matters now, especially that we get 88 rated Cole Palmer. So I think we take out Hamsik and play Palmer. And then like an English goalkeeper would be ideal or just a Premier League striker or another Chelsea player. That works as well. Uh, we get a Rod Hemp. I guess we just go with Abede Pele. We're in an interesting place for chemistry. Wouldn't mind a new left back at this point. We get 89 rated Mappy Leon. Surely we have to take her. Yeah, and that's our new left back sorted. So we take Mappy Leon. We take out Kukurea. Play Zambrotta left back. Play Arno Martinez right back. We're 86 rated still. If we could get a big goalkeeper here, that would be very nice. So I'm going to take Reece Silver here, plus two to the chemistry, and it's just a new striker we need now. Not in a bad place, especially for the first draft. Um, yeah, this pick's not going to help. Go for Bruggen. Next up is... Okay, does uh, Ar Anthony... Oh, he doesn't have striker. He should do. He's played striker a few times for Newcastle, but should have left wing and right wing and striker. He played all across the front three. Now... Do we take him for rating or do we go with Etikite Eketike? I always say his name a little bit wrong. Um, I don't see the point taking him. So we'll go with Gordon for the bench rating. Still 86 rated. Next up is going to be... Take Tadic for the rating. We, don't, we definitely don't need a new centre-back, so that's fine. Take Tadic there. He goes into the team. We're still only 86 rated. Two picks left. An ultimate pick is going to be Totti. And then our last pick 
We clutch. We are not clutch. We get uh, Akpom. So first off, 86 rated, 30 chem. We're going to need to improve. Let's get into the next one. Let's go with the 4 3 3 hold in formation. Loads of high rated wingers. And we start off with. You go with 90 rated Hansen. I don't see why not. Striker is going to be. Oh, that's not great. We'll take, we'll take Luka Jovic. And left wing is. Oh, wow. This gets worse and worse. All right. We'll ignore those last two picks. Let's get a big centre mid. And we do get Frankie De Jong. We could take Marquisio as well. I'm going to go with De Jong though for the Barcelona link with Hansen. Would be great to be able to keep her in the team seeing as she's 90 rated. And centre mid number two is not great either. We to go with Thomas Lamar. Maybe. Cristante maybe. I'm going to go with Thomas Lamar. We do have a La Liga sort of theme going on. And guys, I'll be honest, I am looking forward to the weekend. International football has not felt as long as it has over the last past, what, week or two? And that's because the team I support, Man United, they have a new manager. Ruben Amrim, if you haven't heard, has <laughs> literally been everywhere. And I'm so intrigued to see who plays. It, it, it does look like it's going to be the 3-4-3 or the 3-4-2-1, I should say. Which is very intriguing to me because... We haven't really played a five back. We did play a five back once or twice with Oli, but that had mixed results, I'll be honest. Um, great performance against PSG in the Champions League. And I think we played it against Liverpool. And uh, you know how those games went against Liverpool. So anyway, we're going to take Misa here. Yeah, I think that's the option, the best option to take. We are a very disappointing 83 rated right now with 23 chemistry so i'm going to continue talking about real life football because this draft is not going so well and guys let me know in the comments actually what team do you support let me know the country you're from and what team you support so for me it would be england manchester united for you it might be something completely different but guys let me know as i'm going to take 89 rated teo hernandez here this draft for the second draft attempt Usually we try to pick things up a bit, but this has been this has been poor. Now, one thing I will say, I do like that Amarim has a more favourable set of fixtures. Now I'm saying that, and we'll probably lose every game, but he's got some decent fixtures. Ipswich away, it should be three points. I know I like McKenna. I think he's doing a good job over there. But come on, let's be realistic. Man United should be beating those kind of teams. Now Quick decision to make. Alex Bainer is already up front. We could move him to left wing. However, I think we need the Liga F links, right? So I think it makes more sense to take her. She benefits from the Spanish links as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to take her. I'm going to play her left wing instead. We end up losing one chemistry. So maybe shouldn't have done that. Who knows? Next pick is going to be Antonia Silva. She's going to go in and she... Well, we lose two chem to start with, but we do have Layla Wabi on the bench. Gets us a plus one. Yeah, I don't know where we kind of stand with this draft right now. It's a bit all over the place. In goal, do we get a much better keeper? Mm, Edison shows up. I think Edison's actually going to come in and get full chem, surprisingly. Premier League chem he gets, Man City chem he gets, Brazil link he gets. You love to see it. We do lose two chem overall, so... I guess maybe not the maybe you don't love to see it, but here we are. Here we are. We get Eda Militao, who would have been great if we didn't get 87 rated Sol Campbell. So we're taking Sol Campbell. He goes in for plus one. I just realized I guess it's the midfield, right? That's really killing us right now. Edson Alvarez just not quite cutting it. Four picks left. See who else we can get. Get Kukurea. Feel like we get him pretty much every draft. Now he's going to go in, but I'm not sure he's going to get a plus one actually. Actually he is, he will get plus one. I was thinking Edison's going to lose the Man City link, but he's got the Brazilian link and the Prem, enough Prem Chem, so that is fine. So we'll take Kukurea here. Plus one. Three picks left. Can we sort out that midfield is the question. Sansei is definitely going to help us to do that. Now he goes in. Take out Edson Alvarez and play Thomas Lamar now. We should be on more chem. 
Yeah, plus two. But this draft has been poor. We're only up to 85 rated. Yeah, we don't see 86. Two picks left. Can we save it? We get JJ Okocha. 89 rated. Or at least put him on the bench first. Takes us up to 86. I think we'll lose Kem, yeah. Gonna lose Kem trying to play him. And then our last pick is gonna be Kamada. We're not gonna dwell on this one too much. We're gonna move on to the next draft. But guys, don't forget to let me know what team you support. So into draft attempt number three. Let's go with the 4-4-1-1 formation. Not a formation I take very often. We're gonna start off. I'm actually gonna start off with 88 rated Marquinhos. It's quite difficult to get high rated centre backs. So starting off with an 88 rated centre back is not a bad start. Left back, if we get the Marco here, he gets a perfect link. However, we get Teo Hernandez, who can play left mid as well as a left back. He is the highest rated. We'll take him. Right back is going to be Trent. So maybe it would have been better taking Robinson. Robertson. I, I, I don't know why sometimes I call him Robinson. Probably a lack of respect. I don't know. I'm a United fan after all. Anyway, Fratesi gets a perfect link. So that is great. Centre mid number two is going to be... Hmm... Kevin De Bruyne is just amazing at football. But for chemistry, he's actually not that great. Whereas Pateas is great for rating. There's just so many high-rated Barca players that I reckon she will get full chem when it comes to it. So I'm going to take her. I'm going to take her. Cam, we are going to get JJ Okocha. 88-rated hero. Just works. Striker. 90 rated Ruud van Nistelrooy and shout out to him what a job he did as caretaker manager at Man United I'm actually glad he's gone though in terms of not that I wanted him out but I do think it would have been difficult having him and Amarim coexisting especially if things were going badly then you know there'd be whispers all oh, do we sack Amarim do we keep Rude and Rude did say as well he wanted to one day be a United manager, so yeah, it's just not good vibes. We'll take Keller here. Here, I think he oh, he might have had a team of the week this week, so maybe shouldn't have taken him. But we're 87 rated, we're not doing too bad for chemistry either. Get another Liverpool player, we're getting loads of them today. Um, however, Arnold Martinez might be the better pick, he does have center back as well, so there's that. And guys, while this loads, if you could get this video to 200 likes, that would be amazing. And let me sort out this draft. Is going to be not a great one. What a season he's having, by the way, though. Uh, seeing as he showed up to shout him out, he also gets the Nigeria link with Okocha. So you know what? For chemistry, he actually helps us a bit. Plus two on the chem. Our next pick is 89 rated Diani. She doesn't really fit, but we'll take her. And if I do this, we get plus two as well. So, you know, every little helps. Next up is going to be... I mean, Bone's just an increase, right? It's just a small increase on the team. So we'll take it. As I mentioned, every little helps. Especially when it comes to getting world record drafts. Now, this draft is a little bit off of a world record. But we're getting there. So we get Gordon. I think... We're now going to have to take out the likes of Pateas if we want to get the chemistry, which isn't how I intended the draft to go. Our backup goalkeeper, slightly better. Tell me what I'm going to say next. Every little helps. Plus two on the chemistry. And we get Sagankov, who I guess could play, gets the Girona link with Martinez, but mm, it's getting a bit tricky for chemistry. Plus one. Is not bad. Rating, however, is going to be poor looking at our starting lineup. Gerard Moreno has Cam. Yeah, might be able to fit him in. I think we can. We'll take him anyway. Four picks left. Is there anything doing from this draft? A 120 is probably the max we can get at this point. Let's uh, 
it's so annoying that you can't really skip the picks as we get 92 rated Vinny Jr. Um, is there a place for him in this team? I would love there to be, but realistically, probably not. Two picks left. Let's see who we get. Get another Girona player. Miguel Gutierrez is probably the best one to take. You do get Chiesa as well. However, I'm going to go with Miguel Gutierrez. Go in, in at left back, plus one to the chem. Does mean we can take out Sigankov now. And then our last pick is going to be um, Acosta for rating. He doesn't make the bench anyway. And Bowen in, I think, for Sigankov is full chemistry. 86 rated. We've got a couple high rated cards, but they couldn't fit in the formation. Well, in the team that I built, so that's on me. We will take our manager and we will get into... Is it the final draft attempt already? I think it is. So into the fourth and final draft attempt of today's video. Can we be clutch and get a world record? Probably not with formations like this, I'll be honest. Let's go for the 4 2 add. Two CDMs just never sits right with me. So I'm going to take the 3 1 4 2. And we're going to start off with okay, Pavel Nedved is great. 89 rated, goes left mid, is obviously an icon, so gets great chemistry. Donny's not awful. CDM pretty much is. Um, who do we take here? Go highest rated. Center mid number two is going to be Valverde. 89 rated so La Liga chem is coming along and if there's any Real Madrid fans in the comments um on more ADR I was well, spoiler alert I was recording a video for a Real Madrid career mode and now that the live start points have been added to the game it looks like um, Valverde might have to put in a shift at right back now guys let me know in the comments if you think that will happen or not here i think we it makes more sense for us to take lower because of the la liga chem right now kane i'm just not sold that he's going to get full chem even though we do have max Bayer. but i'm going to go with lower here and then striker number two is going to be rude van Nistelrooy. that is amazing payo at the end was great as well but two icons already absolutely brilliant and guys also if you're not subscribed to more adr and you like career mode content then be sure to subscribe to it and even if you're not a fan of career mode content and you just want to help me out as a creator that is perfect because that channel is not monetized as yet so every subscribe helps at this point now here we could go with cola one rating higher but i do think marquez is the smart decision so i'm gonna go with marquez and yeah more adr it's about at 600 subscribers at the moment so if everyone that watches this video today or gets to this point of the video hopefully at least 400 people will um then if all of you just hit subscribe to more adr then that channel should reach 1000 subscribers here i think we take providel samba gets decent chem actually Having two icons is so good that it confuses the chemistry sometimes. Makes things seem better than they really are. Samba might be the play. I, I'm confident we're going to get a new keeper anyway. So I'm going to take Nick Pope. And we'll leave that keeper pick to, towards the end. We get Nashan Veng here. Not the best. We'll take her for rating. And get Jarrell Hato here. Not, not really ideal again. But with all those Dutch links, you never know. Yeah, look at that. He's on two chem. This is what I mean. It's, uh, it's very deceiving. One more Dutch player and he's on full chem. And we'll take our midfield pick here. CDM is needed. We do get another Dutch player though. In Frimpong. And if we play him, he's going to be on full chem. Hato is going to be on full chem. And it's going to be a good day. But not so great of a day if the draft doesn't load. And it's not going to load. <laughs> okay, so we're up to 86 chemistry. And then we play Hato again. So we're up to 29 chemistry, sorry. And 86 rated. Which is good. Next pick. Can we get a new CDM? We... Ooh, no, he doesn't have CDM. I think we just go rate in here. And just hope to get a CDM later. Donny can play CDM, to be fair. So we could take Thomas Lamar. But 80 rated, it's just not great, is it? So let's go with 
maybe Baltimore here. And let's take our backup keeper now. See who it's going to be. There you go. Had a feeling it would be someone good. We get to Stegen. Goes in, gets full chemistry. Yeah, no need to look at the rest really. Take him, plus two. We're up to 31 chem now. Just our CDM position that needs addressing. And there you go, 91 rated Jude Bellingham. Uh, ending off drafts with a good draft is like top three things in, in life. No, I'm joking. But we're, we're 120 right now with like six picks left. We now get a Vinny Jr. Are we going to be looking at another 121? We lose two chemistry trying to play him. Obviously, Nedved being an icon just gets way better chemistry. So what we will do, we'll take out Lewa. And we'll play Vinny up front. Oh, this could really be a 1-2-1, one, one, if not a 1-2-2. Two, two. Let's see. Reserve number one. Martin Prato, I think she just about makes the bench. She does. Not up to 88 rated just yet. Four picks left. We now get 89 rated Mappy Leon. The scariest thing is she can play. Or can she? I'm not I'm not 100% that she can play, but it's still a no-brainer. We take her. Now, we play her. Ooh, we lose one chem. She needs a... Okay, so we can play her. It's the, the Frimpong that's really the problem. And we're up to 88 rated, so... Okay, if we get a new right mid, we have a 1-2-1. One, one. If we keep getting high rated players in general, we have a 1-2-2 two, two now. I think the play here... I'm just wondering, can Nuskin play now? She can't. We... Nah, definitely not. So it would have to be either Ruben Garcia or Campagna. We'll take Ruben Garcia. Do we drop for rating? I reckon we do. We do. Ah, uh, come on, come on, EA, help us out. So we still, realistically, we still need a new right mid. Next pick is gonna be. It doesn't really matter. We'll take. Uh, I think Tillman might have a high rated card. We'll take Stengs here. I don't think he does. And then our last pick. Come on, moment of truth. E. That's not gonna help us. Okay. Let's have a look though. Can we do anything to get the rating? Now, Jarrell Hato. Does it drop us? It does drop us. And then with Nash and Veng there. Okay, now we are 88 rated. So a Spanish manager, which is, wow, well, Spanish manager shouldn't be too difficult to get, to be honest. So either a Dutch manager or a Spanish manager. And we have... Another joint world record, I guess. What a crazy draft. Yeah, so we're full chem here, but not enough not enough rating, unfortunately. However, small change and we're there. So let's see. Let's see, can we do it? Dutch or Spanish? There's the Spanish manager. Oh, so we're not going to get the end screen, but... I'll be back and I'll show you that we have a second one to one on the channel. So here it is, guys. A very simple change. Hato out for Rayo. And there you have it. 88 rated, 33 chem. Swapping over players. And there you go. It is another one to one. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe to more ADR <laughs> and to ADR, of course. And I will catch you in the next one.